Um, Canada won it without him last time? This is bad. Steven Stamkos has suffered a broken tibia and by early reports could be out three to six months. Uh, that's bad news for Tampa Bay, obviously. He's their best player and one of the best players in the league and a massive reason for why Tampa's first in the East. By the way, did you know Tampa's first in the East? I didn't. More importantly, for folks who are gonna be wearing red and white in February, this could mean Stamkos is done for the Olympics. Now, 2010, I know Stamkos was young, but he should have made that team. Canada won, no harm, no foul, but Stamkos should have been on that team. IMO. Can Canada do it again? Even if you're a superstar, nothing is guaranteed for Olympic rosters, especially for a team that's so stacked up front like Canada. That being said, Stamkos was a lock. From what everyone has said, Canada's big problem heading into these Olympics is goaltending. No, not anymore. In the summer, it looked like Canada was going to be dirty on the right wing, and all of a sudden, they're mighty thin. Nash has barely played this season. Giroux has barely scored this season, and now Stammer? Even if Stammer has some sort of miracle recovery and manages to just get cleared in time for the Olympics, I can't see him being the same player. He's got to be explosive. That kind of thing takes a long time to Fully heal. He's recovering from a broken leg. All that crazy training that he does with Gary Roberts, the emphasis on those exercises is for explosiveness. I was really looking forward to seeing Steven Stamkos on the big ice. And now Canada loses a player who, if he's not as important as Crosby, he's close. So, what now? Assuming Steven Stamkos is not with Team Canada at the 2014 Sochi Winter Olympics, who do you see stepping up and who do you see stepping in to the lineup? Currently tied with Steven Stamkos for the league leading goals with 14, Alexander Steen, born in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, could replace him? No. Plays for Sweden. But if you ever want to return to your hoser roots, you're welcome to. Two players who I think could step up, who were big for Canada in Vancouver, but are kind of considered bubble players for Sochi, or at least they were, Ryan Getzlaff and Corey Perry. They're both top five in league scoring right now, and if they keep it up, they're exactly the kind of guys Canada need. With the exception of the Switzerland game, I saw every Team Canada game live in Vancouver, and I can tell you, Ryan Getzlaff was Canada's best forward. Another guy, a new guy this time, maybe you give him a chance, even though he's his center, Matt Duchesne. He's sick on NHL ice with his little dangles and all his speed. Imagine how disgusting he'll be on the huge ice in Russia. Because outside of Crosby, right now that top line is open season. And all of a sudden that crazy proposal from TSN that Chris Kunitz played with Sidney Crosby at the Olympics for chemistry purposes doesn't seem so crazy. And question, question, does this affect your opinion on whether or not Martin St. Louis should make Team Canada? Honestly, Steven Stamkos is sick, but it's not like St. Louis piggybacks on him. They complement each other. But the idea of having those two as a package was something I was looking forward to. Does this affect Canada's chances at a gold medal? I want to say no because it's just one forward, but it's not just one forward. It's Steven freaking Stamkos. Stammer with the hammer. Drop to one knee, sniping on the 10D, that guy. And I know I just said Canada was stacked up front, but if Stamkos does not play for Team Canada, that is a huge, huge blow. One does not simply replace Steven Stamkos. I'm going to stop babbling. What do you think? Hey.